guys, and welcome back to Snake Hunters. Today we're going to do something a little different. We want to share with you the passion and love we have inside for snakes. You see, my passion for snakes began at a very early age. Yeah, but not as young as mine did. She's quick to the punch and smart. She's right, my passion and love for snakes didn't begin until I was 17 years old. So yeah, I guess 7 years old does put me to shame. I've always been fascinated by snakes as a kid. But it all started when I met a very great friend back in the day named Krista. You met me before I was born? No, silly. A friend named Krista from way back in the day. She had an albino Burmese python named Nene. So that's where you got the name Nene. I knew you stole it. Okay, okay. No, let's just say I kept the legend going. We used to take this thing everywhere. It was like, it was like a pet dog, a pet cat. That's when I really fell in love with the snake. I mean... It was just, it was phenomenal. We would take this thing everywhere. And she really, she really got me going into snakes, and that's what started it. So, in that regards, from 2002, a hatchling nene, to 2012. Let's show him off. This is my nene. Hey, buddy. Ugh. Good the whole time. Ugh. A male Burmese python. He's really gentle. So, he is the legacy of the original name. It's like real Very strong, too. He's really good with kids. Rarely hisses. The only thing is, when you get him out of his cage at first, and a lot of, a lot of Burmese python owners know, you know, they think it's feeding time, so you know you got to get them out cautiously. Once they're out, most of them are good. As you can see, he's just snow in the air with his forked tongue. Wants Krista for dinner. Yeah. No, you know that. You love Nene, huh? Come on, Joe, why don't you come say hi to Nene? Hi, Nene. Yeah, let's get Joey in there too. So this was my first real snake, we'll say. I've had ball pythons, corn snakes, but this is when I really fell in love with the snake. We have a lot more to show you. We have a collection. Ten. Ten. Yep, we got ten. Mwah. Now let's dig into Krista's passion and love for snakes and how it all began. My daddy got me a new snake, my first one, on my, on my seventh birthday, and my birthday is September 29th. But we got it before my birthday because if if I got my on my birthday, then there will be no more left. And I want to introduce Daisy. She got me. This is Daisy, guys. Yeah, he's gotten big in the past few months. As you know, corn snakes are one of the most calmest snakes. So why not get my seven-year-old daughter a corn snake for her birthday? She's really good and passionate for snakes. I mean, you've seen her. She handles them with perfection. Daisy's a stud, huh? What kind of corn snake is it, Krista? A creamsicle. Creamsicle corn? There's a lot of different kinds of corn snakes. Too many to list right now. But this is a creamsicle. Up here we have an albino snow. This is going to be his it's mate. It's a female right here. I don't want to take her out because actually it took me a while to get her to feed. thought she was going to die. Yeah, um, but she, she ate yesterday because we cut it in half because of the gut part. Yeah, we cut a pinky in half thanks to Brian Barsick from BHB Reptiles. Very knowledgeable guy. He taught us that trick. Yeah. Him and Chewy. Him and Chewy. Um, great guys. If you guys want to check it out, a very, very cool place to buy snakes. bhbreptiles.com Or you can check out some of their videos at youtube.com slash snakebitestv. Snakebites, B-Y-T-E-S. I'm sure you've all seen it. What else we got? Boas. How about some boas? Let me grab a boa. How about... Um, start here. What do we got here? We got a Guyana 
red tailed boa. It's a female. The boas, the boa constrictors, at least they have the name boa. Yeah. The boa constrictors. She's a beauty. You see, she's got like a grayish, just like a red tailed boa, but a little grayish blue, right? Yeah. Grayish blue. Yeah. Now we're going to bring out Jasmine here's mate. It's a male boa. Let's see what kind of. Okay, here we go. We're meeting him. Oh, wow. We're meeting him. Yeah. Yeah. They're both red tail boas. They're both red tail boas, but this is a hypo red tail boa. Oh, it's a little bit bigger. I know the difference. There you see? He's got that lighter color, but still that dark red tail. He's a beauty. His name's Jax. G-A. Sometimes I'm shy. Really cool snake. Seven. Oh, bigger and smaller. So these are our boas. Actually, no, we have two more boas we're going to show you. Yep. Put these guys back and we'll show you our other boas. He's a little hipster. Let's let grab him. He's our escape artist. He escaped two times. What kind is he, Krista? He's um, a rainbow boa. Colombian rainbow boa. Yeah. If, if you put him in a light, they change colors, but not like a real rainbow, just... Yeah, you can see you know, when he's under a cadescent light or the sun, you can see purple, yellow, orange tints. His name's Scar. Because he has one, but two more shads, it's going to be gone. Yep. Let's show you why his name's Scar. He got bit by something, the previous owner. I just got this guy. So I took a chunk out of his neck near his head area. Okay, Krista, why don't you grab Scar's mate oh. for next season? We just got from Brian Barsic at BHB Reptiles. I'm going to put this on the floor. Little bloke here is a male. It won't hurt somebody. Well, he's usually nippy, but I don't know. Krista, she's got that snake handling ability. Let's, let's we just see. got him. He's quick, too. Yeah, I'm see if he can nip at me. He's nice. No, he's not gonna. He doesn't have a scar, so we're not naming him Scar. No. We're naming him something else. No, so that's the male. This is the female. They'll both be ready next season. Oh, there's a theme. Spit mm -hmm. an image. Really cool snakes. You want to see your mate next year? Look at that. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so those are our rainbow bows. We couldn't do this show without introducing the junior, junior snake specialist. This is Alyssa. You say hi to the camera, Alyssa. I'm sure she'll be a snake specialist down the road. But now, uh, not so much. So, since I'm holding baby Alyssa, Krista, why don't you introduce the next snake? Him? Yep. It's a surprise. Just wait. <laughs> Pretty snake. I would not care if it is. Well, any sniper. What kind of snake is that? Carpet python. What's his name? JC. Where do those snakes come from? Um, they come from the third day. Steve, Ir Steve Irwin, crocodile hunter. Does that help? Australia. Australia. Just got it. Which? He's really pretty. Let's look at some of his markings. He just shed yesterday, so his colors are really vibrant and sticking out right now. And look at his head. See, unlike the Burmese python, he's got that short-based head. As you can see it. Camera two. Oh. See that short-based head? It's kind of stubby. Ooh. Really cool, though. They love to navigate. Yeah, he has. He has his one saw, but he's a really time, good snake. first time I got him out, I was scared because he was hissing, but now I get used to him. And when he hiss, I just forget about it. And then yeah, just, yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, you get scared. It won't hurt. She's probably like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what is that? Okay, so that's JC, our carpet python. And we always have to spray him every day. 
Well, yeah, we. Because yeah. he gets all those weight on. He gets dry. Kristen sprays him once a day. Yeah, because I remember every time. She's I'm doing good. She's doing her homework. All right. Well, my next little snake hunter is going to introduce his snake. Joey, why don't you come in the frame and get your snake? TJ. TJ. And tell us what it is. Go ahead, grab him. Alright, come on over here, Joe. Look at the camera. Why don't you tell why don't you tell the audience what kind of snake is that? Um sand boa. It's a sand boa, yep, a Kenyan sand boa. Yep. That's just a little baby right now. And actually he's gonna shed if you can tell by his skin. It's really, yeah. really really dim and his eyes are probably opaque. But they're really cool snakes. They're good beginner snakes. They like to burrow in sand or bedding. You know, whatever you may have. They, they have those nose where they can dig in. Yeah. But we don't use sand. We use those bark. We use cocoa fiber. Yeah. So he's pretty cool. That's your first snake. You like him? Yep. I got pretty a calm, snake huh? Too. Yeah. Well, some of our snake collection, guys. We got another one for you. Uh, who wants to take it out? Me. Me. Hold on. Let's do any, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a snake by its tail. Mm -hmm. If he hollers, let him go. You take him out. Joey. Uh. Go get him out. We'll see what this one is. What do we have here? Whoa. A red milk snake. He is really fast. Good yep. job, Joey. Come sit down. This is a Sinaloan milk snake. Just it's... a baby. And we call him Flash because... He's fast. You see, he just darts out of your hands. Really cool, though. Look at the patterns on this guy. See, he's got black, yellow, red, black, wait. It mimics the venomous coral snake. Really cool looking. And he's really fast. He's, he's not, really it's fast. It's not a venomous coral snake. No, just a milk snake. Really mm -hmm. common. It's not venomous. He's cool though. He's a black Ooh, head. Ooh, look at him. Whoa. Sometimes he's hard no. to hold. He is hard to hold. Let's see what you can do. He's really not fast than me. Action! We want to thank you for watching Snake Hunters 3. He's weighing us all down! And He's gonna kill us! Bye! He's got a leg! Oh no! He, he's in jail! <laughs>